I'm gonna show you guys my bed and it sparkles. And they brought the furniture up because, well, that's what I do. Hi guys, it's Rachel. So today it is time for house vlog update number seven. Yeah, we're up to seven, I believe. So today I thought I would do an update and show you guys my bed because I have sort of it's not completely finished, but it's close to finished and a lot of you guys have been asking me about it because you guys have seen it in the background of my beauty videos, which I've started posting a few um, in the last week. So I'm going to show you guys that, but also my mirrored furniture that I wanted has been delivered this week. So I thought I would show you guys that and I kind of changed my mind on what I'm doing with that. So I thought I'd let you guys know that too. So I'm going to show you guys my bed. This is in no way exactly how it's going to be finished, but... This gives you an idea of where I'm going with my bed at least. So I put on the Georgina bedding. I haven't like fluffed it up nicely or anything yet because I just haven't had the time, but it's on. So this is the king size and I have a queen size bed. So some of you guys were asking me about sizing and things like that. Um, so I ordered a king size and when I first ordered it, I did it based on what um, reviews said and then I put it out and I thought, oh no, it's too big. But then in the end, I thought, oh, am I going to send it back? What am I going to do? But then I decided to keep it and I actually think I quite like it. So if you have a queen size bed and you want the bedding to like hang over the side, which I actually quite like, you can see it hangs f quite far over each side, um, then I would size up. If you would rather it sit a little bit shorter, then you could probably go just a queen size. If you have one of those really high mattresses, I don't, but if you do, then you probably definitely need to size up because um, that would make the bed higher and it probably wouldn't hang down as low. It really depends on the look that you're going for. So that's what I've got on my bed. For those of you also asking, I did end up lowering the bed to the mattress. Maybe I should show you guys. I decided to bring it down. So the next morning after I showed you guys, I did end up lowering the mattress. So it came down and I actually like this height better. It doesn't overpower the room the way having it higher kind of did. And then on the bed, I have these cushions kind of for color, which I like. They're kind of the... Um, I guess the pinky color is picked up in some of the stones, not the stones, sorry, the sequins on this sequenced pillow. Both of these are from the store um, My House, which is a chain of, I guess, um, homeware stores in Australia, as is this pillow over here. Now, I haven't decided on how I'm actually going to finish the pillows. I'm still, I keep on changing it every single day, but I like all the pillows and they go together. I just don't know how I want them positioned. This one is part of the Georgina range, so it was also ordered from Anthropology. These two Euro cushion covers are from my house as well. They're from the Avon Avon Lear. Let me see. Here we go. The Avon Lear set, which looks like this. I actually really like this bedding, and if I hadn't been set on plain white bedding, then I probably would have bought this whole set. As you can see, I have this pillow too from the set, and I have this pillow. I bought probably way too many um, cushions. I just didn't know what I wanted and they, they still have tags on it because I may take some of them back. Then on the top of my bed, I've just been playing around with different ways to accessorize it. Again, this is not the end. I just kind of wanted to play around and see, get ideas and see what I like. So for those of you who watched my last vlog and saw the um, frames that I picked up from Hot Dollar, as you can see, I've taken out the back of them. This is what I meant by like just having the raw frame and actually not having anything in them. This thing was also from Hot Dollar you saw in that haul. This is a um, candle that my sister purchased for me from... Uh, dusk I believe and this one is from Ikea you guys saw me haul that a little while back I just have random things in the side at the moment because I haven't decided what I'm going to put in there that gold cushion up the top is also from my house because originally it was going to go on the bed and then I just didn't know and I recently got some candles in I got market peach from Bath and Body Works oh my gosh you guys like I heard so many people rave about this it smells amazing I, I haven't burnt it yet because I'm trying to get rid of some old candles, but I love it. Just the scent of it. I can smell market peach and then I have peach bellini, which my friend Lisa sent to me and I haven't burnt that yet because I love the coloring of this. It just goes the, the silver and the gold. I'm trying to mix silver and gold and neutrals together and I just like the color of this together. So I probably won't even burn this one because I just like the way it looks. I still haven't unpacked my lamps yet. That's really bad of me. And then that throw rug that I have there too. Again, it's also for color and it's also nice to sit on. It's really soft and cozy. That's also from my house. 
So that's my bed, guys. That's what I've done so far. I feel like it's like it's a big part of my room. I love having um, a bed, which is really nice. And then I also put some stuff. This is, I feel like this is more of a room tour than this is an update, but I'm just showing you guys what I've done so far. This might not be where these things stay, but I have put some clothes and stuff in my drawers, which is why there aren't big piles of clothes over there like there was. So that's kind of my bedroom update. I've actually just dumped more stuff here, which is why that looks a mess. So we'll pretend, let's pretend you guys didn't see that. So I thought I'd come down and show you guys the mirrored furniture in its current state. At the moment, I'm trying to work out how we're going to get it upstairs because it's quite heavy. And I started to unpack it because I thought that we would take out the, um, what's it called? Like the drawers, so it would be less heavy, but the drawers actually don't come out. So this is how it is. They actually have different knobs. The knobs are on back to front. The knobs are actually on the inside at the moment to protect it. But you can see how it all come and then I'll show you guys when it's upstairs so you can see it's much neater. There's also pieces of mirror to go on the top of this, but they're separate. It is made to look um, antique. So it's painted like a champagne color on the edges and then it's actually like roughed up a little bit to make it look authentic because if I was to get authentic, vintage mirrored furniture it would cost a fortune as it is these pieces were really quite expensive i ordered them from mirrors online there's also a store called interiors online which sells them and interiors online had this piece cheaper but mirrors online um, matched the price for me because i was buying both the pieces anyway um, but still they were really expensive so it was kind of an investment but i didn't spend a lot on the other pieces of furniture in my room which is why these pieces were like a kind of like the key features to add a little bit of character to the room so that's those and i'm going to show you guys when we finally get them upstairs i don't know when that will be it may not be today if, if for some reason we can't work out how to get them upstairs because they are really heavy and i'm gonna need my dad and maybe my mum and maybe my uncle or somebody else over here because i just don't know i'm just like walking around with you guys as you can see well this upstairs bit nothing really happened we have like a chandelier that's gonna go up there but we have to get an electrician to install it and I don't even know how because how do we install something over stairs like I know it's possible because people have them all the time but I just don't know how it's gonna happen I don't know I am sorry that I am sans makeup too it is Saturday morning or kind of towards lunchtime but since I'm not going out anywhere I try not to wear makeup because I wear makeup all through the week obviously to work and for filming and stuff like that so I'm trying to give my skin a little bit of a break but my lips are tinted red from one of the L'Oreal um, shine balm stain things and um, I can't get it off and then I also have um, a new lip gloss on over the top because I just wanted to try it. I just realized there was something else that I didn't show you guys when I showed you my order from Anthropology. So from Anthropology, I also wanted to order some uh, different knobs. I think I mentioned it a while ago for some of my furniture just to make it look a little bit more unique, a little bit more antique or shabby chic or whatever you want to call it rather than just like the normal way that the Ikea furniture comes. So one of the knobs that I got to try, and this is not necessarily to go on this particular piece of furniture because this may move into the closet and if it moves into the closet then I don't really need to have fancy um, knobs but then if something else does go here then that may have these instead. But this is one of the knobs, I believe this is like a glass one. If I can get the um, I'll put a link to the correct one in the description box. But I just got it to see what it would be like and whether it fit the furniture and stuff like that. So that's one of them. And I may get these for the drawers that will end up being here as part of the bookshelf, one of the bookshelves. And then the other one I actually have inside here because it's going to go on the front of this. And it, they come in boxes like this. I met, read mixed reviews on like them showing up and being broken and things like that. That's why I only ordered two just to see sort of how they showed up, what the quality was and things like that. And this is the other one. This one got mixed reviews because of it. Um, it's glass and apparently it shatters if you tighten it too much. But I fell in love with it and I feel like it goes with the antique nature. And I'm going to put it here on the front of this piece of furniture. I'm going to have my dad drill a hole. I'll still probably use like the bottom part to open it. But I just wanted to make it a little bit more girly, a little bit more fun. So that's the other one I got. And again, I'll put a link to that in the bottom bar below on the anthropology website if I can. I'm pretty sure they're still there. They all seem to be 
like I've looked been looking at these things for like the last I feel like I've been designing my room for the last three or four years and a lot of the stuff is the same stuff on the websites so um yeah some things sort of last a while I put up my calendar too isn't this cute it says there are always flowers for those who wish to see them and it's April which is my birthday month and since I am vlogging I want to say thank you very much to all you guys who wished me a happy birthday it was super super nice of you and I think I forgot to say it in my beauty videos because I was sort of so worried about what I was filming and the fact that I was filming a beauty video again that I forgot to thank you guys for that so thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart it's it's so crazy when people that you've never even met but you feel like you share your life with wish you a happy birthday so I wanted to say thank you for that I probably won't do like a birthday haul or anything like that because it's just not something that I really want to do but I do have you guys may have noticed I don't know if I showed this side of the house or my showed this side of my bedroom before but I have this little owl sitting here and it was a birthday card from my sister and I thought it was really really cute so I just have it sitting on my shutter here although it's dark because of the backlighting sorry so you guys can't see that very well but that's there so we had family friends come over and they brought the furniture up. So this is the one piece here. And I'd originally planned for the tall boy that's over there to be up here against the window. And then in that corner, I planned to have a mirrored bedside table that had one drawer across the top and then um, two, like, I guess, cupboard little bits that opened. But I changed my mind because I thought I needed more drawers. So over here, I have this tall boy. This, I believe, is manufactured by a company called Dash. And then they're sold through a whole heap of different companies. If you type in like antique mirrored furniture and you can find this in a sold at a lot of different places. Like I said, I got this from mirrors online and it has all these different drawers. The drawers aren't very large. Like these ones up here are quite small. I will probably use this, even though they call it a tall boy, it's really like a lingerie chest and I will probably mainly use it for underwear and maybe like some like summer pajamas or swimmers and things like that. These ones are a little bit deeper, but they're not very, they don't go very far back. So I have that there instead because I decided that I kind of didn't want to block this window because all my other windows are kind of blocked thanks to the furniture that I have. So this window won't be blocked and I can still open it up. This is the other piece of furniture that I changed my mind and decided to get. This is a three drawer, I guess, low tall boy. However, unfortunately, my bad luck with furniture has continued because one of the knobs didn't come in the thing. So I have to contact the company and get it, but I kind of don't care because I'm really, really happy with how the furniture looks. So I'll just have to contact them and get them to ship me another knob, but that's okay because I'm just going with it. I'm going with any furniture disasters because I'm just so happy to have the furniture in here now. I'll probably put, my pajamas still don't have a drawer. So whether my pajamas go in here or whether some other clothes go in there, I put my pajamas where those clothes are currently stored. I don't know, but I have that there and I'm just really excited because I just feel like it looks really, really pretty and I can put some nice stuff on the top here. I don't know what I'll have here. Let me guys, let me know what you think I should, how I should decorate the top of this. I'll probably have, I don't know what I'll have. Maybe I'll have candlesticks. I'll definitely have candles. You guys know I love my candles, so I'll have candles or something. But if you have any cool ideas for what I should put on top of this and on top of that one, let me know. Um, like I said, still working out how I'm going to decorate everything, but... I'm really, really happy with how the furniture turned out. And yeah, that's basically all the furniture that I will get until my um, bookshelves come in from Ikea at the end of May. So yeah, that's the update for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will continue to do more updates. They just probably will be further apart because I'm not doing that much to my room at the moment. I still haven't organized my bathroom. And of course, I still have my closet to organize, which as you can see, is a really big mess especially since I just since I just dumped more stuff in here to make space for this furniture so that's it from me I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you all in my next house update vlog coming soon ish <laughs> okay bye oh another new candle guys it smells I wish you could smell that it smells like a tropical island and like you're sipping a cocktail on the beach it's just it smells beautiful. And then I have another one. Where's my other new one? I got three. Oh, I got the third one in the bathroom. I'm going to show you guys because, well, that's what I do. And I love you. So I got this third one here. This is called, it's called Bahama Fizz. And I actually got a little um, candle holder thing on eBay as well when I bought these candles. This one, it smells amazing too. And I like this. I may not burn this one also because it matches my bathroom colours. So I don't want to burn it because I want to just keep it in here looking pretty. 
but it smells really good even without um, the like burning you can still smell it and I have my frosted cupcake which I am actually burning in here as well so yeah yeah do you like my owl this was a gift from my sister for my birthday it's an owl sweater and it sparkles I love it okay I really gotta end this vlog